just showing how well versed he is in his character's moves, how they launch, what he can follow up with. Mm -hmm. Just absolutely 100% carrying his combos as much as he could to get as much damage as possible. Gotcha. But now, grand final. Run back. And yes, this is a matchup that I think a lot of people have been waiting for because we did see this happen on last Saturday at Esports Arena here in Las Vegas, and Elegant did very well against <laughs> Foe. Very well, 3-0. Not dropping a very single solid. game. Yes. Regardless of what the bracket said, because yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it was, it was, um, re it was finalized and the score was wrong. But yeah, Elegant went the entire, uh, pretty much sweeped the entire tournament without dropping a game. Yes, and, and that so includes versus Foe here, our number one player from Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. So. There is a lot for Foe to have learned since then, and you know, Elegant just kind of sitting pretty. Cause yeah. It was it was crazy how well he did versus Foe here. Pretty much, and pretty much what's gonna happen like the either the timeline goes that Freddy or Foe gets his run back, yeah. or Elegant makes like the most insane losers run. Yeah, yeah, pretty it's crazy. <laughs> it's a lot of a uh, uh, game threes and game fours from uh, game threes, game four and game fives from Elegant here, and that's. Could be a nick right there to take Elegant's stock, evening this out for Foe. And it's, it, it, I want to say it's looking a little better. Just able to keep up stock by stock for Foe. Yeah. Because Elegant was toughly just looking amazing after that set. And it's no, of course. really scary for someone like Foe, who does not have a lot of Luigi experience. Right. You and know? it's also, um, it's a lot of Foe just not knowing oh, how to play goodness. the Luigi matchup, but I mean, he's looking a lot better now. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. And it's, I think it's a matter of just really gaining the confidence in himself to play and also, ooh, <laughs> oh my goodness, that was almost But yeah, not don't count Link it out though, because you know, mm -hmm. he's insane. <laughs> oh yeah, it's... Anyone going up against Elegant is going to be scared. Ooh, tries to go for a DI mix up there, maybe? Or just tries to get him off stage? Either one. Yeah. Really good good, oh, or like good position is, for Elegant. Ooh, just barely missing the kill there. A few percentage, but run off down here. Star spot. Going to be taking foes like stock. And even game. Even game. <laughs> so let's see. The platform. They went away. Oh no no no! They just have to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is where like it gets kind of dicey for Foe because it's like Luigi is such a good boxer and his like yes, his boxing options are so fast that yes. I get super scared every time I see Freddy like mm -hmm. up close or just trying to like win a mashing battle oh, with Elegant. Oh, he tries to play oh, it tricky. Oh, and he calls. But out. overextends with the up B. Yes. Elegant saw that and said, "All right, you trying to be cheeky? I got, I yeah. got some cheek." Myself. Pretty much. And that's really close. It's yeah, that was very a, close. But it, every stock was back and forth between those two, and it's just, it just goes to show, like, how, especially like, these another like explosive like pair of characters here. Yeah. And oh yeah. yeah. It's just like I said, it's gonna be really interesting to see how um, how Fo's going to adapt. If he's going to play the long game and like camp, or is he st mm -hmm. still? If he's like. He's a god if he tries to like outbox Luigi, but I'm just saying like Yeah, but it's just at least from what I observed in the previous set they played, he Ness does not have a good time trying to outbox yeah. a character like Luigi. Luigi has such fast grounded moves. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just really a struggle, especially when you eat so much damage. He'll especially get one hit and convert yeah. it to seventy percent. Nice. Oh Dow, what an incredible. amazing reversal yes. there. He had patience to stay on ledge. He wasn't scared away from it. And he, he saw the opportunity to take early stock there. And he's carrying it. 63%. He tries to go for the forward smash. Oh. <laughs> but ends up getting grabbed. And here, edge guard for Elegant. Yeah, now he's it's to ledge trap. Trying to get the down tilt and knock upwards. But he's going to miss it. Freddy Foe is going to get back on stage free of charge. With a little extra damage on top. Okay. Very nice. Wow, nice amazing catch. spacing on that yep, up smash. You don't really want to find yourself in a position where you're above Luigi because that up smash is definitely going to come out. Yeah, it's very, like, 
obviously it's very fast and it's just like their range is like deceptively big. Yeah. Um, it'll hit behind them a bit like it'll it looks like a disjoint the way sometimes it hits because Ooh, like sometimes nice. you feel like you're not near Luigi and you still get hit. Yeah, yeah, really scary but Fo really strong stock here. Uh, it will take elegant second and sitting pretty Ooh. with a full stock lead. Now, the thing with Elegant though is he is known to delete stocks. We yeah. saw him do that to Dakpo game four. <laughs> you saw that do it to everybody this tournament yep. and on Saturday. Yep. So this is still anyone's game, but Fo really wants to make sure that it's not Elegant. I'm trying to get a ledge trap there and Elegant Ooh. with a little, yeah. Looking for a grab. He's playing a little more passive now. Oh my goodness. Jesus. That's all he needed. He yeah. One grab. <laughs> Able to even out stocks. Now he got to even out the percentage here. No stock is safe right now. No. Either it ends with this edge guard or this ledge trap right here, or Elegant's going to win the oh. game. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is really what scary. I... That was jump. That's, that's it. What I say? What I say. Yep. <laughs> and that. Elegant on the cusp of reverse. Oh, or, uh, oh, yeah, of a reset. reset here. And he saw the opportunity to edge guard someone who is very weak off stage. And he's oh, like definitely. It. And even then, like one thing that I love that Elegant's doing is like he he bullies Ness. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Off stage, and he has yeah. obviously because he has the tools to do it. And like he's just not afraid. Like he's very, very good at like knowing when, like when to go for his aerials off stage, and yeah. just how to push like Ness further and further from the stage. Mm -hmm. He's not. He he does not play super scared off stage. Zero to sixty-five. Yeah, Same character. combo there. This character. And he keeps on going with this ledge trap. Yeah, with the extensions of his grab. Oh, nice tech there. Yeah, gets the tech and then just immediately disengages. All right now. I mean, Fo, with a little bit of percentage himself, really bringing this back right here. Very nice catch, just putting his own, finding himself with the lead, actually, now. Let's see if he can get anything off this. Nope. Oh, oh my goodness. There God, it is. The patience. We did see Fo drop shield, but he very quickly put it back up, and is it going to be able to seal Elegant's first lock off here? What a scary situation to be at. Yeah, Gets the two frame. Uh, is uh, that it? He... No, no, no. Dropped a little too low there. I think if he would have if he would have used his PK Thunder a little earlier. Er, yeah, go for but, a horizontal. Yeah. But then he would have been vulnerable to anything elegant could have thrown out if well timed. Ooh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Very nice. A uh, little combo there. Yeah. Freddy thinking that Elegant was going to go low off stage. Ooh, Beefy up B. Like yes, this is the first time we're seeing Bo do that. But it definitely caught Elegant off guard. And easy damage. This second stock is really scary for Elegant. Ooh. Is he still okay? Able to make it back on Jesus. stage. Jesus. Short of. This is scary. Up B. No. It I'm not sure if that was a misinput for something for either down B or for a back air. Who I, knows? I think he just yeah, it didn't look like a misinput, but I think possibly he was out of percentage range for that because he did have a lot of rage. Yeah, true. Ooh, doesn't and let Fo go oh my down. Goodness, and just like that could be evening out stocks here. Oh what? This is forty-five percent. Forty-five percent, dude. <laughs> He's mashing on him. Take whatever you can get. Because, uh, Another st sticky situation for oh, okay. for both of these players. Yeah, You'll know. Close. Again, Bo just kind of missing up on these upbees or these yeah. overshot upbees. But he is still able to chase Elegant across stage, and he's keeping this pressure on Elegant. Oh, oh. That, was, that was a missing. That was a missing. Again? No. Very oh. nice back hit, and I don't think it was intentional, but he was able to catch Elegant. Yep. Rolling behind him, which is something that he does like to do a lot. Yep. And what little crowd we have here coming alive for their boy. Oh, yeah. It's, it's pretty quiet because it's, it's uh, 1, it's 1245 12 a.m. over here. It's almost it's pretty 1. Pretty late. Pretty late, but this is the match that everyone has been wanting to see the run back. 
so definitely have a little crowd gathering to watch between their sets. Yep. And that's pretty good. It was. It's definitely been back and forth, but the fact that folk get one on board is already yeah, a yeah. lot better than. Oh, well, I, I can definitely see like. It definitely feels like Fo is cleaning a little bit more up on his game because, oh, yeah. like, the, that last um, game three, it just felt like, or yeah, game three, it just felt like. Hold on, I can't count. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're good. I don't want the this one. Game two. I'm sorry. So game two, um, Elegant got the reversal with the grab and yeah. then killed him off stage, yeah. and I feel like that was Freddy's game to win. And oh, it definitely so, was. Because... Yeah, yeah. But then it ended up turning out that it was Freddy's game to lose, so... <laughs> yeah, really scary, just the way Elegant was able to reverse that situation, but it did... Foe did not let that shake him up, because he was able to take the next game. And True. now we're sitting here game four. Foe does have to win one more at least to find himself at a game five situation. And uh, mixing up the stage now, not going back to Battlefield. Very nice there with the PK fire, just a little bit of extra mm. damage. Yeah, tries to stall with the PK, uh, with oh, the magnet to add up the PK fire. Oh, but doesn't that get might anything. be a big punish. Yep. Yeah, yeah you, don't, well, you don't really want to commit to options like smash attacks versus character like Luigi. He can just eat that stock up. Yes, sir. And again, another amazing combo for coming out from Elegant, yeah. getting him from 0 to 46%. Mm -hmm. and, and a little more here, too, as Elegant recovers from off stage. Getting nicked by the yo yo, and that that's not gonna be it, but really good damage. Ooh, oh. uses the invincibility <laughs> of the down B yep. and reverses the situation. Will, there be, will this be full stop? Uh, okay, very nice. Another that's, beefy up B. Yeah, that's really what's scary about edge guarding Ness. If you're not quick enough, you are more than likely gonna be hit by that PK rocket. He's gonna lose his stock from across the stage, and it's, it's still very much doable here to even out. The percentage before Fo loses his stock. This is really scary for them. When you're, yep, yep, really scary to be that high versus Luigi. Yes, sir. And again, breaking out using the down beat combo break. Yeah. yeah, very strong move there. The elegant finding a lot of percent off stage. <laughs> yeah, right now it's now or never for Fo because you know if. He, he doesn't take it. this dog, it feels like, Ooh. well, definitely he's going to uh, reset the bracket, Ooh. so. Oh, very nice. Now, this is a game. Yeah. Will we still... see another explosives? Uh... Oh, it's so scary, though, because, you know, one grab. Yeah, yeah. And then, yep. Yep. That's exactly what I was Dude, that mention. DI makes up so scary. It is ridiculous that he's, he's just allowed to do that. Yep. But, so, elegant. Elegant with the bracket reset. Going to be able to take it pretty strong. Still 3-1 over Foe, but the games were definitely much yes, closer sir. than they were. Um, last time they played, Foe looked thoroughly lost. And yeah. He vocalized that on Twitter. This, this is not a matchup that he really ever runs into in Vegas. We do have Tux, who had an amazing performance. Yeah, who actually beating well. Foe too. Yeah, yeah. And but just, that's, you know, he's running into him. I don't know how many times they played. Right. And still, just Tux was definitely on fire that whole tournament, though. Oh, of course. And props to him. And it just also seems like, like Ness, it, like it looks like when I see like this matchup play out, it just seems like Ness loses out on these interactions where they're, uh, where they're like having these scrambles, and it just like Luigi nine times out of ten is always going to either win the trade and either outbox you or like, and it just. It feels like it's very like outside of like Foe's comfort zone, where he is the person you like will lose the trade against. Like he's oh, one, like yeah. he's going to outbox you. Yeah. But now that he's fighting somebody, you know, that's matching his energy, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of a struggle for him. Yeah, it's it's like you said, out of his comfort zone. Foe, at least in Vegas, he is extremely aggressive. He's known to just run in and combo you to heck, you know. And that's now he's facing someone that's matching that same energy right and uh i luigi is definitely going to be the one winning those uh what's it called <laughs> the <laughs> those trades? fights those trades yeah. yes because his frame's at it really good 
you know, you really fast jab and all that. Yeah, definitely. In this first game, I can tell that it's definitely going to set the precedence for the rest of the set. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to come in with the general advantage. Um, yeah. If Bo wins this game, he'd definitely feel more... Uh, I wouldn't say yeah. pleased with himself, but he definitely would feel more comfortable, more in that like, okay, I can do this kind of mindset. But if it's yeah, if Elegance keeps on winning, it's gonna be like way harder for Flo. It's, it's definitely gonna leave him in like, a, oh, what do I do? I'm, you know, he's changed. He's definitely changing up the way he's playing because he did get that one game. But regardless, Elegant is still keeping on top. Yeah, but then converts Nair to down B. Yeah, I I swear. Like, Luigi or Elegant, either or, can convert anything into that Cyclone. <laughs> and the oh Misfire! Oh my goodness. And that... He knew it! That's why he did jump side B that high. <laughs> <laughs> he felt it. Godlike DI from Elegant right now. Yep, he's able to live that. And now he's finding himself where Vegas has found themselves a lot of yeah. times. Getting juggled by PK Thunder. And Fo looking for the edge guard here, dropping pretty low, sour spot back I think here. That's but it. I think that's still it, yep. Fortunately, he did not get another misfire to bring him back. Oh, kind of scary there. Elegant really trying to find a conversion off that Ooh. back to punish. <laughs> if that fair would have sent him forward, I think that would have been the game. Oh my goodness. But Fo getting oh, the reversal. Yeah, and using this platform. Well, Attempting to use the platform to his advantage, but Elegant's gonna be able to make it back to center stage. But now, once again, off stage. That's so scary. Foe. <laughs> yes, the Ooh. pressure and that. Foe gonna be opening up set two with a win. With the dub. What a really nice <laughs> end stock right there. Yeah, yeah. Just, he, he's putting pressure in all the right places. Yes, sir. And, and it's just really. Like, I, I was just gonna say, like, I just feel like every interaction, just like, I just like you could feel like which way it's gonna like slide to, the, yes. like, yeah. just how, like, if someone ends up winning a trade, like, they just go from like zero to oh, 60. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Both these players are just carrying it as far as they can. Yeah. Ridiculous. But now to game two here. Let's see, add in, add in cash. Okay, okay. Yeah. running it back. Right now, they're running it back, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm time. like so focused on this, like, on what's going on like, in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, what stage are they fighting on again? <laughs> oh, yeah. Everything just seems one? to mesh well. And he's doing it again, where he just does the, like, quadruple down tilt into jab. Mm, so you said, you said which one? Um, wait, which one? Which, which player? Because I sleep both. Alright. Uh, Oh my goodness, and the catch. It doesn't even matter anymore yeah. because Ellen did elegant with this patented down throw into mm -hmm. up B. The platform definitely helping out to get really early stock there. But Fo catching. Ooh, very nice. Swing the yo-yo. Oh my goodness. I can't even talk. Oh, uh, he had the read for the air dodge, mm -hmm. but didn't couldn't space it uh at all and ended up whiffing. But did he just <laughs> he <triple> doubled double? <laughs> I think it was triple or double yo-yo. <laughs> Either way, but uh, still he's a elegant with it, yeah. <laughs> still caught elegant, even got this game too. Very nice. And I, I like the uses of PK Fire to catch elegant when he's at a distance. Easy damage. Yeah. It's just you know he doesn't want to start using it too much because elegant will definitely start catching on to it. For sure. Both of these players oh just going at it. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. I'm just like. They're throwing it, hands. Yeah. That's what it is. They're throwing hands. They're man. actually fighting. Okay, it's gonna fall out of yo-yo there, but it's gonna set him up for foe to get a second yo-yo and the second stock from Elegant. Okay, I know how to describe it. They just really want each other dead. Like, you ever <laughs> <laughs> Like they just really, really want to like dunk on each other. Yeah, they do. Yeah, at this point. Do. Oh so, my goodness! They just—they're not letting each other breathe. If they're not hitting each other. Yeah, they're doing yeah. something wrong. But elegant, right there, catching him with the cyclone. And now last stock situation here, game two. And oh, is it, really turning up. He's—he's he's the one putting the most pressure here. Elegant's trying to keeping his distance. You know, being really patient. Yeah. Looking for that one conversion that will let him catch up in percentage, but 
Poe's doing a really good job of not getting hit by that. And there it is. Run off there. The Fo same way. On the cusp of winning this set. It doesn't matter if you reset at the bracket. All it matters is if you get those three games. Yeah, yeah. It, it really does. Because this is what's going to determine who wins. Yep. And we're seeing. We're literally watching Fo adapt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just catch on to Elegant's play style and character as well. Now Elegant pondering which stage he's gonna go to now. Mm -hmm. Battlefield, not Battlefield, uh, Town and City not quite working for him. This set too. Smashville. Gonna mix it up a little bit with Smashville. Which is super interesting because he's been banning it a lot. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, let's see what the smaller stage would do for him. I'm guessing that he just wants, to, he's very confident and it's like, oh, I'm gonna like mess him up mm -hmm. if we're this close to each other. Oh yeah, yeah. Because definitely is a smaller stage. And like we were saying, uh, Luigi's probably going to be winning those trades. Yeah, yeah, So we'll see if he can really put that in action here. But Flo just starting off really strong with a jab lock. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Big, big is damage there. Yes. Okay, not going to be getting the... Not, not quite the sweet spot, but... Yeah, yeah. The hit that would have killed off the side. Knocking him upwards instead. Elegant look for the Cyclone and yeah. he's going to be finding himself punished with that yo-yo. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I could see why Elegant would want to go to the stage. You know, like, one interaction, one combo, yeah. and, like, oh, yeah. Ness is off stage. He's able to do his thing. But oh. Fo just definitely turning up and, mm -hmm. you know, doing the same, the thing I would think Elegant would do to him. Yeah, so. yeah. And it's, that's, that's what we're saying. These two players have such similar play styles in the way that they carry their opponent across the stage and or just blow up on them. So it's yeah. not surprising to see that Fo is doing what we maybe thought Elegant would do since this was his stage pick. Yeah, yeah. And definitely think about it like the other way around. It's like these two play characters that generally people don't want to fight. Like they'll always like they're always getting camped. They're always like having people, their opponents are always running away from oh, them. And so when you put them like when you put them together, it's like it's this. Like it looks like and a bar it's fight. Just stock <laughs> after stock after yeah. stock. Yeah. And Fo catching Elegant's second stock. Elegant on his tournament stock right now. It's still very much possible because we have seen what Elegant can do, especially at this percent, around 70%. 80, yep. We see that grab into the upbeat. Fo is doing a pretty good job of not getting grabbed. He is. That's it. Oh, yeah. Unless. Oh, I believe. Oh, my goodness. He's able to make yep. it back. Only so deceptive how long that. That was an interesting fadeaway from Fo. Oh. And that's. It. No! Oh my, oh my goodness. Elegant, amazing awareness. That knowing reaction, that he was still yeah. on yeah, he was still gonna hit the stage. And he was looking for that stock as well with the uppy the uppy follow up. Yeah. Now it, it it that can really shake a player. You know, to know that you were on the cusp Up throw? Of death, oh no, back it throw. Yeah, it doesn't look like Elegant's really shook. Still playing the Down tilt. Hit. Doesn't get the two frame with it, but does get the four there. Not gonna be finding the stock quite yet, and this is so scary because one mistake Ooh. off stage, and Elliot can get caught by Ness's upbeat. He's playing very passive now. We have not really seen him playing this patient, and that's it. No, he, no? he falls oh, out of it. My probably yeah, to too much rage, and that's the punish. Very nice, very nice. That's gonna be it. Elliot finally finding Fo's second stock here, and let's see. This could be it. Oh, and Fo with the DI, able to get out of it, but still taking a good chunk of damage. Okay, this this is so scary. Just, it's actually insane oh how. Oh my goodness. It's insane how Elegant is just able to bring anything back. Yes, Elegant really is one of the craziest comeback characters. Is that really it? Oh my goodness. Punished with for the fireball. Yeah. Whoa. Ends up punishing the fire or the, uh, fireball the fireball with the, the fire stall with the magnet stall and ends up getting the backer to end up above that, above Elegant and that's the that, set. <laughs> From three, getting three old, and I think two stocked, even mm -hmm. two or three stocked. Yeah. Just really beat up by Luigi, too. Yeah. Being definitely. able to just, you know, it's only one step, but still being able to come back in three oh. Yeah. The best Luigi in the world. True. Insane. This is.